Hey, and welcome to Ninja Bill Reviews, and today I'm excited to take a look at Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Dinobot Slag, or Slug as they say here, Slug, Slug, but we all know this is Slag, and I'm excited. This was a gift from Ultra Megatronus, and you know what? I love this toy. I love it. Some people complain about the colors, yada, 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 Cyberverse line, blah, 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 blah. Look, I like what I like. You collect what you collect. I'll collect what I collect. Moving on. So, here he is with everything he comes with. But before we do anything else, I'm going to raise up this camera and we'll take a look at that box. So, get this out of the way. Get him out of the way. And here's the box. And again, it's that open face thing. I would rather have a plastic window right there. But here it is. And he's, you know, shooting up his cannon and whatnot. And he's charging in the way. Yeah, I really like it. And obviously, the colors don't quite match up as you we see here. But... You know, hey, that's okay. Um, Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, Dinobot Slug. There's the Age. There's the Hasbro. There's the Autobot Symbol. Transformers up the side. Autobot Symbol again. Nice colors. I do like the, the, the Cyberverse colors. The, the yellows and greens, you know, and I, I like that. There are the Dinobots. There's Swoop. There's Swoop. Grimlock. There is Slag. There is Sludge. And there is or Snarl and Sludge. I almost goofed up. You almost had me in the comments. You almost got to me. All right, Dinobots Unite. This is Deluxe Class. On the back, there is the product shots going on. 25 steps. Once again, nice artwork. It's Blaster Fire Fury. There you go. Dinobots Unite. Nice artwork going up the side of his robot mode. I dig it. Box gone. All right, and he also comes with a set of instructions, which I have upside down. There you go. <laughs> and... You'll open these up, and of course, there are the instructions. Simple enough and easy enough to follow. And believe it or not, he's a lot more, uh, he's got a pretty good transformation. It's pretty slick. So, there you go. Stuffs, all that good stuffs. Boom, bang, done, gone. All right, and we'll get back to the dino here. And here he is. And he comes with three accessories. We'll go ahead and take a look at those before we do anything else. And here it is. Just my lighting here. There we go. And it comes. You can combine all this. Last effect is this one here. Let me zoom in a bit. Pretty cool. I dig it. So, yep. Comes. This comes together or pulls apart and I like the way they did this there's a slot in there and you can slide the axe in there to make it look like one weapon sure you got this little bit showing there but I do like that so anyway let's take a look at this axe does have on the tip right there does have blast effect you know ports so you can stick a blast effect on there so it's a cannon has a five mil port there or you can use this as a five mil stem Clear see-through plastic, in this case being red. I like it, would have liked a bit more paint there, but this is all red plastic that they put this black on. So hey, bravo, bravo. So that's the axe. Pretty cool. This is his double barrel blaster. Focus. And it's done in this uh gray with some silver on top over there. Got a five mil port. That slot there for the axe. Of course, you saw what the blast effect could attach right there. Five more pill, uh, five mil port going on there. So, and if you're wondering, no, it cannot attach. Well, I guess it could go like that, but no. But if you wanted, you could also attach the axe that way if you so wished. So, you have that going on if you wish. So, pretty cool, all in all, pretty cool. We'll zoom back out. We'll take a look at slag. Come on, focus. There we go. And it's pretty cool. Mouth does open and close. Nice gold yellow plastic. Autobot symbol red on that going on back there. Nice blue eyes on either side. Clear plastic for these horns. And they are adjustable so you can have them in or further out. They'll also come in play for transformation. But you can have that. Pretty cool. I dig that. Nice molded details on that sail. Some horns right there. Some silver. 
Now I added that red right there. I was trying to color match, do some color matching here. Uh, um, I'm probably going to take that off and make it gold. I don't know. But see, in the show, it has his forearms are red right here, right? And but in the as you saw the depiction has it gold. So I don't I didn't know which way to go, but I'm sticking with the red. I think it works. Some reds in there. And that's the only red I added, by the way. Everything else came standard with him. Lots of gold back here. It's not black. It's a very dark gray. Going some like a smoke gray going on here and there. There he is from the top. There he is from the bottom. For articulation, the head will move up and down and sep uh, separately. Or the shield will as well. Again, it has that opening and closing jaw. There's his head. Hi there. Just hiding out there. So, yeah. Oops, this is not there all the way. This thing tabs together very solidly, I will say that. Um, arms will go, his legs, rather, will go forward, will go back. You have a joint right there for that knee, so that's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't really do any outward. You get some outward on that shoulder joint, but, you know, not a lot. Um... Tail doesn't really move at all, so you get that. These legs will move back, move forward, but not much. See, they'll lock into place. They'll lock into place. So, um, yeah, he's, he's really cool. He's really cool. Give me a minute here. All right, sorry about that. Never fails. Every time I start a, uh, start a shoot, uh, someone calls or, you know, knock at the door. It's just, never fails anyway so here we are and yeah i really like him so um you can attach the weapon as you saw right there via that port via these pegs you can have that one there you can have that there if you want uh, or sitting like this if you want to uh, come on get in there i'm gonna plug in oh that's because of the detail there but uh, you can you know stick this one in there if you so wish but uh yeah Pretty cool. There's also some ports right there, but it's a little harder to do with, you know, what with the fin being right there. But yeah, you can you, you can certainly do that. Uh, stick this in there if you if you wish. Hey, why not? It's pretty fearsome, right? Right. So you know, Stego running at you with an axe on his shoulder. It's pretty fearsome. Anyway, we'll get rid of this and uh, um, let's talk about this transformation. Uh, see what I mean? And so, yeah, I really like this guy. I like the colors, um, although I do feel sh this should have more gold here on these spikes and, you know, more metallic gold, I think, would have worked better on, on here. I also think that they, if they were going to go with this, um, some ra rather than clear plastics, they should have went with a solid plastic, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, um so yeah it's it's pretty good now let's get down to transformations first thing you got to do is you know you got your loosey-goosey head here is there is a joint a couple of joints in here actually that you've got to use to pull up on this you can see that joint right there it's a double joint there's a joint there a joint there in the back you've got to pull this back like that then come back here and untab the feet from this larger chest section just like so this is where it gets a little complicated. You have to work real and make sure you take it easy with the tail. It folds in like this, but you also got to split everything at the same time. And this is where you can possibly break these. Because again, this is gold plastic. And as we all know, gold plastic tends to break easy. So be careful when you're pulling out this leg. Go ahead and pull this out, but not all the way. You'll see why in a moment. Because you have to fold in these feet, you got to angle this out here, and then on a joint that's hidden in here, you've got to fold this in while avoiding everything else. Then you can swing out this leg, just like so, fold in this. There is a tab, slot, boom, done just like that. Feet, what you're going to want to do is turn them around. Just like so. And mine is really tight joint going on right there. And you have to flip it around. But as you can hear, it can be 
a little stressful. Again, it's a gold plastic, folks. I'm telling you, gold plastic. Hasbro, you need to knock it off. Fold this forward. Oop, not all the way. And you have his foot. Just like so. Go ahead and fold this back up in there like so. And fold this up. And it will lock into place. Lock into place. Now it's making a liar out of me. Lock into place. There we go. So you have that going on. It's it, it it's not the most comfortable thing in the world to uh, uh, see to pull out plastics, stress the plastics. You know, especially when again this is sort of a yellowish gold plastic. It's Hasbro. Your engineers have done better. You do better. So, and you do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to pull this out, but again, carefully. And swing it on that joint in there. And as you're doing so, you can fold out the leg. And again, all this is done, hopefully carefully, because again, this is that yellow gold plastic that nobody likes. And fold that in there. It'll soft tab into place. You can hear the soft little thoop. There you go. And then, uh, once again... Pull these feet down, swing them around, and once you have the clearance for everything, there you go. Once again, fold this foot up. Now you can have the, now in the images and in the instructions, it has you set the feet like that, but you can't have them up. So, but I actually like it with those spikes spacing forward. It gives it a, a more, you know, of a presence, a more menacing look. So, like if he kicks you with his shins, you know, he's going to. You know really mess you up so anyway there you go now comes a really unfun part on this joint here you're going to untab this swing it all around there's a joint hidden joint in there swing it all around just like so pain the took us but once you get there you'll get there then swing this whole thing around it'll soft tab into place there you go more of a hard tab, swing that around as you saw, and there will, as you can see, is the formation of his chest. Swing this back, and that will soft tab into place as well, or lock in. And again, mine is really, really rough. Really rough. Come on. One good thing about this copy, there we go. Like I said, it tabs into place. Swing those hips around so it's facing the right way. Orientate, orientate them as you wish. You'll have a joint here on the arm to swing out and up into place. Boom, just like so. Swing that up and into place. Boom, just like so. Then you are going to orientate the arms properly, just like so. There you go. Swing out the fists. Boom. Out the fist, boom, just like so, and you're almost done. Now, what you're gonna have to do is on that double joint, you have to swing this down. And again, I don't like those plastics being this gold plastic, I, I, I dislike it. It's a um, Hasbro man, you, you need to knock it off, but ugh, and that happens <laughs> I was about to mention, but be careful because you can snap that sail off and that's exactly what happened the, the sail came right off so um let's see if i can attach that back on there and it's gonna be a, i'll be right back and i'm back and here he is and one last step was that i did not show uh is to push this whole assembly down so it locks into place there and you can adjust those horns however you wish uh, i like to have them off to the side um, but, you know, you can have those displayed however you wish. So, that's how it looks. And now, since we have them here, let's go ahead and... You know what? I forgot to do a comparison in his, uh, dino mode, but that's okay. That's okay. We all know he's a deluxe class, and yeah, I really like him. Um, he's cool. Um, and once again, you can arm him up, you know, with all his weapons. The, uh, those ports, those pegs, we'll give him his axe. And his double barrel rifle. And there you go. And yeah. Now why couldn't they have included an axe with the Studio Series 1? Speaking of the Studio Series 1. I'll raise up my camera here. And we'll do a quick comparison. 
And here he is with the Studio Series version. As you can see, a much, much larger. And yeah, they should have gave him an axe. They didn't. He got an axe. He didn't. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you, Hasbro. Shame on you. But yeah, there you go. I liked it. You know what? I forgot to review this guy. I'm going to have to do that review. Better late than never, I suppose. And uh, for another comparison, here he is with Blaster and Rewind. You're like, hi there. There you go. But get him off to the side. And yeah, he's uh, he's cool. I like him. I like him. For it, once again, you can have the weapons this way. Uh, we'll take those out. And we will talk about articulation. Get that head up out of the way. His head does move. Does rotate. Does have a little bit of side to side. Eh, some down. Not work. No up. Arms will swing all the way around on ball joints and a joint in here. So actually it looks, yeah, it looks like to be a universal here and a ball joint there. So pretty cool. On a single uh, pin joint, you can get uh, 90 degrees there. You can go the other direction too for some strange reason. I don't know. They should have locked that down. And the hands, no real wrist articulation whatsoever. You do have a waist swivel on mine that is really tight. Really tight. Uh, again, nice molded details. Got some silver, some blues in there. Nice bright blue eyes on that mug. Look at that. Look at that mug. Nice bright blue eyes. Again, that smoke gray. Not really a black. It's more of a really like a metallic smoke gray. So you got some silver on there. Autobot symbol. That should have been picked out, I think, in red. That would have been nice. So moving on. Uh... Again, waist articulation, got some that smoke gray going on down there. Focus, camera, focus, there we go. Nice molded details throughout. And again, they should have made that red right there. I still might do that myself. Legs will kick out that far. We'll move back some. They will move forward that far. They will move back that far. I gave you that outward. Does have a thigh swivel. Built on a mushroom peg right there and gives you a good range out of that. Knee will give you over 90 degrees. I like that. Uh, as far as rock, you get a rocker. You do get some up and you do get some back. So pretty nice in the articulation department. I, I think it's really, really good. Uh, Could have used a bit more paint, but overall has, bro. You know, good job. Um... I really, really like this. Lower my camera a bit here so we can get a dead look on. And yeah, I, I, I think it, I think really, really cool. Um, I think this is a great slag. I think uh, um, if you're, you know, I hope they release uh, Snarl and um, Swoop as well. Although I, I've heard that it's kind of dying down. The line is kind of dying down. Via those ports back there, you can also attach the weapons if you so choose. Boom. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, I recommend it. Um, is it for you? I know I'm one of, you know, a few people in our circle or community circle that reviews Cyberverse toys. So, eh, I don't know. But he's a Dinobot. I had to have him because he's a Dinobot. He's a dinosaur robot. I mean, come on. I had to have them in my collection. So, this has once again been a look at the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Class Autobot Slug. But we all know it's slag. And I think he's fantastic. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out my playlist. Please hit the like button. Click that little bell icon to stay up to date. Um, if you feel like don donating to the channel, you can hit me up on that Patreon link down below. And about everything else, be good to each other.